Hey guys, welcome to the review show of the top 12 performances. It's going to be really crazy afterwards, but so far it's good. It was, it was a good night, but it was crazy. I don't know. But anyway, this review is brought to you in part by my new game coming soon on Thursday. If you want to sign up, you just have to sign up in... The description below will be the group, and you'll find the applications there. Just a simple rule. I, I do not accept. I do not accept singers. I can't. I keep messing up. Okay, I do not accept singers in this game, but I accept like duos, like Forte or anything like that. And you can do it from Australia's Got Talent, any talent show. And if you got anyone on YouTube who has done YouTube videos of singing, like Boise Avenue, they count as a team, try out, I'm going to also put in a different application, you will be able to try out for the uh, YouTube audition thing, you know, that process, and we'll see what happens. But anyway, that is Tango Scott Talent coming soon. Let's get to the review show. Ha <laughs> ha. Now, the reason you see a black background, I don't know if you can see me that well. I'm going to show you. Yeah. <laughs> so, I have boxes back there, and I didn't want to show it, but I showed it anyway. But, hopefully you guys can see me. Anyway, first up was the Chicago Boys. An acrobatic group, they performed a... <sighs> I loved them first. In fact, at school... At school, before anything performed, I thought Chicago Boys, Kenichi Abina, Chris Duff Brothers, uh, Forte, Taylor Williamson, I think I said Kenichi already. All right, Kenichi, Kolinsky, Taylor Williamson, Forte, Chris Def Brothers, and Chicago Boys. That's what I thought before. But now that the acts have performed, they were the first act of the night. Think about that. It was a great night tonight, I think. But I think they messed up. They messed up a little. But they are great performers if... They might pull off a Marty Brown from the second quarter final week, or he choked and did that, but they're great performers. I don't think they're going to go through after this. This night was pretty good, but it's my personal opinion the Chicago Boys blew it today. Up next was Brandon James. Now, my mom, that out there, and we're about to watch the show in about, like, 20 minutes. It's uh, 8.44 and she records it on a different channel, but I record it on the NBC and it's on at 6 o'clock, so. Anyway, Brennan James, my mom's probably top three favorite. I don't like singers on the show. Everyone knows that after like the last three quarterfinal shows. Well, not quarterfinal. <laughs> Anyway, um, I'm also going to be doing results reviews. I think I already did a couple before. I, I don't know. But anyway, I'll do that this time. And for the finale, don't forget on Wednesday night, I will be doing a finale review on how I think the winner did. And we'll go on from there. Anyway, Brandon James. <laughs> I haven't talked about him yet. And it's been like 10 minutes. Anyway, uh, Brendan James, if, I don't like singers on the show, of course, and it's the second act of the night, so he's not going to go through, but he did a great song. It, I think he did great, but not good enough to get him into the finals. I, it's just my opinion, again. And if you guys don't like it, why don't you tell me who you want to go through? Uh, Innovative Force. Oh, I didn't pay attention to this one. I got a little bored because of their last performances, but I think they're great, and I only saw a little bit of it. I don't know. 
Um, now the whole reason they went through is because the Kristoff brothers getting injured in the first semi-final week. Now, do that. Also, John Wayne didn't go through, or Leonette team didn't go through, because Kristoff brothers performed there, and, you know, everything like that. But, um, Innovative Force, I didn't watch it that much. I don't think they're going to go through anyway. It, they just got lucky one time, but they are great performers. I've seen a lot of their acts. They're just, they just need a lot more wow to get me into it. <laughs> the Chris Death Brothers. Now, I've got to admit, the best act uh, of the first six. The first six, he, they were the best acts. It was funny. Saturday Night Live, like Howard said. Um, hilarious. I was laughing my ass off the whole time. Great. Hopefully they go through. Anyway, D'Angelo and Amanda. Now their last one um, in the semifinals didn't wow me. So did this one. Uh, I think they're going lower and lower and lower. It's it's difficult to top an act that you like. Like like it's up there. You're going lower. I think they're going lower, but they did good. Not good enough to send them into the finals. Now, anyway, up next, Catapult Entertainment. I wasn't expecting them to do so well. And since the Chicago Boys messed up, I think the Chicago Boys are going to get knocked out on that one. I literally was thinking, hmm, huh, Catapult did better than the Chicago Boys. But then again, I'm going to go back to the Chicago Boys for a second. They did wow me near the end. They need, When they messed up, I'm like, hi. And I, I judge myself. I have like an easy button where I lost it, but I used to have an easy button on other stuff, and I used to buzz it with my easy button, and I don't know where it is, but I used to do that, and, well, I was thinking of doing that, but then they wowed me a little bit, but I don't think it's enough to get them through. Anyway, back to Catapult, it, 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 was, it was better than the last one, but of course not better than their uh, quarterfinal. Of course, not better than their quarterfinal, but they did good enough to probably go through. Up next to 4K, 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 a song my heart will go on from Celine Dion, <laughs> by Celine Dion. Anyway, um, it's not their best, but they did sing well enough to get them through, I bet. And also hilarious thing when Howard was holding Howie, like, that, whatever, like, I'm the king of all, I can fly, whatever. That was hilarious. I, I gotta admit that. Next up, number eight, was my favorite act of the night. I gotta admit that. Because he's my favorite of the whole thing. Taylor... Williamson. The great. I was I gave him a standing ovation on this chair watching that. Funny. Hopefully it goes through. I'm going to vote for him right after this show. Collins Key was number nine. I I don't know. He's a close-up magician, so he's gonna perform, like, something weird. But, uh, I, I loved him at first. It got cheesy in the semifinal. But, this time, he, he raised it up a little. But it, it got a little more, uh, I don't know, but... He's, pro he's probably not going to go through, but I'm going to vote for him a little. But he, he's probably not going to go through. Anyway, number 10. <sighs> Kenichi Bina. Now, trust me, I love him too. But, but, I don't want him to win. He's a force to be reckoned with. Literally. 
He's gonna win the whole thing. He's gonna win the whole thing if he goes through. You might as well give him a million dollars after everyone performs and just like the winner is Kenichi Mina because everyone loves him. But anyway, good, not good, maybe. Meh. Meh. But I know he's gonna go through, but it's a meh. And the meh means he's gonna go through, but I'm not gonna plan on voting for him. And I know he's gonna go through because everyone loves him. But, he's a great performer. But this performance was a meh. Jimmy Rose. Okay. For the last two acts, I found something funny because people just hate singers and stuff. And this is what it says on, uh, the bot on the two last acts of this one. It says, for Cammy Bradley, overrated singer. And Jimmy Rose, I don't want to say it because I'm going to get banned. But it's singer. Think of the word country and what it sounds like. And get rid of the tree, the re. Then add it. After you think of the word. And then, um, that's what I'm, that's all I'm gonna tell you. Anyway. Jimmy Rose, he added more of a sob story in his, uh, back story before his act. He added sobness to it. Like, for his first act, like, around to the semifinals, it was good. But now, first thing, eh, he didn't sing that better than before. Like, I thought his quarterfinal was better than the semifinal, but now his semifinal was better than this performance. You cannot suck at this part of the competition. So, again, another singer should leave. He will leave. But he added sobness to his act. When you read in the backstory, my heart, my mom is having heart failure. Well, I'm sorry to hear that, and I hope she's doing well. But, it, I'm, I hope no one's thinking I'm an asshole here. Because I'm not trying to be an asshole. But, I just don't like singers on the show, of course. But, just add more of the sob story. It's a good thing it's like, hopefully I can win the million dollars and do that. Because then I would have just been like, okay, America, I am sick and tired of him. But, he did good. And since he's near the end, he's gonna probably go through. The last one. I wasn't expecting her to be the last one. She's not that good to be the last one. Forte could have been the last one. Or catapult. Whoa. Why am I doing this? Anyway, she sung Living on a Prayer by Bon Jovi. Wait, I want to see if you guys can see me. Oh yeah, I'll watch that later. Whoa, okay. That little messed up. There we go. Just got a little messed up. Anyway, uh, Cammy Bradley's song, Living on a Purple Bon Jovi, is not meant to be sang by piano and like, Baby, living on a prayer. Like, it's not supposed to be her, like, type of thing like that, but she did good, and of course everyone's praising her so she's most likely gonna go through hopefully and I just don't want her to but she did good enough to probably go through so we'll see hopefully she doesn't, I think but I don't I don't know, we'll see Anyway, that has been my time, folks. I'm going to tell you who I think is going to go through and who I want to go through. On who I think. 
I think, let's see, I, I just can't see it from the bottom right there. I, uh, oh crap, now I'm going all the way up to the top. Let me just get to the bottom right there. I don't really put notes down like certain people. Um, yeah, it's probably going to mess up. Okay. Uh, give me a rinky dinky dinks. Give me a rinky do. I don't love you. Uh, I'm going to have to go in like two minutes. Alright, let's just think. Chicago, I'm before. All the performing of Chicago Boys, Chris Steph Brothers, Forte, Taylor Williamson, Collins Key, and Kenichi Bina. But now with the performances, I want to go through Chris Steph Brothers, Catapult Entertainment, Forte, Taylor Williamson, Kenichi Bina. And this is not a want. Actually, it is a want. I would say the Chicago Boys might actually make it through. But I think now it's down to the think part of what America would vote for due to the standing ovations and stuff. I would think Chris Jeff Brothers, Catapult Entertainment, Forte, Taylor Williamson, Kenichi, Vina, and Cammy Bradley are going to go. All I really care is if Taylor and Chris F. Brothers go through. I'm going to vote for them a lot. Like, it's going to be freakish if you see me on Twitter. You can go to my Twitter. I'll leave it in the description as well. And also my group. That's new coming. But anyway. Thank you for joining me. I think someone's coming through the door. Anyway. See you later. And Flamingo.